Hello everybody, this is Craig of Formerly Nine Ball Games. Top of the day to you. How have you been? By the way, I said I would come back and do a video if I played a game that was epically ground shaking. Blah blah blah. A life changing game. Guys, it's so fucking fantastic. Let me address this first. Uh, hi, how you guys been? I've been fantastic. I've been growing more beard. Um, you might be noticing that's Wii U. Craig, why didn't you get the Switch? Uh, it launched the four fucking games, and this one was actually made for the Wii U, and then brought up to the Switch, and... I don't know. I can't. I just bought a brand new car, like, straight cash, so I can't really justify buying a console now. Not right now. So, I'll wait till Odyssey comes out. Super Mario Odyssey. And then I'll purchase it. And then I'll probably rebuy this just so I can play it again. This game is so fucking good. You know how good this game is? There's only one series I buy Bibles for, ladies and gentlemen. Or I should say, not one series, but one company that I usually buy Bibles for. I had to go out and get this. I had to. He's just climbing right out of my glass. Um, I had to go out and get it. Man, the scope of this game is fantastic. And you know what? This, this, this game is obviously so good that... I told you I was going to do my last video, and I wouldn't even be back unless fucking Silent Hills was being remade. But this game is epic. Guys, it's so good. And the reason that I want to make this video, and I wanted to tell people who are reserved or you're waiting for, you know, to get a Switch or whatever, and you have a Wii U, just go out and get it. It looks fantastic. It's it's very equal. Um, they both have their technical issues, but nothing that is going to destroy this game for you. Ladies and gentlemen... I love games like this, no matter what the series, but especially with something like Zelda, because you all know my thoughts about Zelda, and, you know, I bounced between Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. For me, that era was what Zelda was all about. Those were the best Zeldas. And pretty much, you know, I liked I liked Twilight Princess, and I liked Wind Waker, and it just, I don't know, it, it, it didn't excite me as much as, as, you know, Ocarina of Time did and, and Majora's Mask did when I was a kid. It's because... Zelda has really always been the same story, and especially when you got to the, you know, the 90s when you had your uh, Ocarina of Time, the story really has been the same, and it's you've been doing the same mission over and over again, and uh, this one still follows suit, so it's still classic Zelda, but open world, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, I've always said that, I know I got it up here, I've always said that my, my favorite... Zelda knockoff has been Darksiders, uh, but Darksiders 2, I feel like there's more customization, more things you can do. That's all in here. There's no more, you get three weapons, one of them's a secret weapon, you know, one's your child weapon and one's your adult weapon. There's fucking weapons everywhere. You snatch a weapon out of an enemy's hand and you can go and fortify that weapon. Or you get some new armor, you get a set of armor, you go to the... Uh, you go to one of the, uh, I can't, the Great Fairy Fountains, and you go and fortify your shit. So, like, they still have all the familiar Zelda things, except you have way more control over what happens with your character. Not everybody's Link will always look the same. I think that's fantastic. Right now, my Link looks like a girl. Um, now, I haven't beaten it yet, so, fair enough. Unless this game goes, like, blue screen to death on me, I don't foresee it getting any worse, but... I popped 20 hours on this, I would say. It's so good. It's not only one of the... I mean, story-wise, obviously, you know, my feelings. Majora's Mask will never be beaten. But as far as Zelda's goes, 20 hours deep, I'm not done with the game. This is the best Zelda that is available. Um, and I was going to make this video two days ago. But I decided maybe I'll let the hype die down a little bit. Uh, my wife and I are currently fighting over who, who gets to play this. <laughs> um... Guys, it's, I don't know, it's its so hard to explain. I'm trying to tell people at work who haven't played it. Um, and the best sell I have is is that Dan got it, and he's playing it, and he got it on the Switch, and he loves it. And Dan is not a Zelda person. He does not like Zelda, and he loves this game. Um, I don't know if it's if it, it feels like it grew with me. My son, my, my four-year-old, has tried to play this, and he has a hard time doing it, so he likes to watch me play it and tell me what to do, and then when it's just running around, he does it. Um, I've died a lot in this game. You will die. If you misstep, you will fucking die. It is not hand-holdy. Most Zeldas are hand-holdy. This one is not. Um, there's no fairies. This time you get a little tablet that kind of looks like an iPhone. The Sheikah Stone. Um, 
and a couple times that will go off a really obnoxious amount kind of reminds me of navi so this there's a bunch of things in it that remind me of old zelda but this is such a step not in the right direction this is a step above any other zelda to the point where there's no going back from this this is why i wanted to make this video zelda has reached a point that it's made so much change and it it didn't fail that this this has to be zelda from now on you can't go back to the original ones unless you're making a portable one which you're not making portable systems anymore i don't know uh, unless you're making a top-down old school style one like they did with uh uh link between worlds this is now the new standard for zelda and i i fucking think that's awesome please guys go get this game if there's more games like this that come out, I'm going to have to start making videos again. I almost did one for Resident Evil 7, but I did not because if you really break down Resident Evil 7, it is Resident Evil 1 in first person. So, well, it's great. Yeah, we're not talking about Resident Evil. We're talking about Zelda. Yeah, I had to go get a strategy guide because of the crafting, in case anybody wants. The crafting. You, there's no more cut the grass, pick up hearts. you got to fucking craft meals. you got to go out. I mean... It's not the deepest RPG that's ever been, but it is the deepest Zelda. They put so much effort into this game, and you can fucking tell, and I love it. I love it. Please, guys, thank you for watching. Go out and get this Zelda. Uh, oh, yeah, this is Hopscape, by the way, out of a Nuka-Cola glass. By the way, somebody tell me. I keep calling this Breath of the Wind, even though it's very clearly Breath of the Wild. Somebody tell me if I called it that multiple times in the video. Thank you guys for watching.